Hey there, and welcome back to another Miraculous Ladybug video. And today, I want to talk a little bit about a minor character. A character that's always been in the show, but mostly was consigned to the background, an ensemble player. And of course, that character is the class's homeroom teacher, Ms. Bustier. Now, I think many people's first instinct is to just accept her for who she is. The seemingly benevolent teacher, young and kind, always there for her students, giving them opportunities and support. And you know, that's clearly what the show wants you to think. But you know what? I've decided this is not the reality. This is not the reality at all. In my eyes, she kind of sucks. Maybe not as a person, she seems nice enough, but as a teacher, a guide for young minds, a figure of authority and support. My god, she actually sucks. And so, that's really what today's video is all about. This is my hit piece on Miss Bustier, the worst teacher in the show. Because whilst Miss Mendeleev is hated by all, at least she treats everybody the same and isn't as much of an idiot. And so with all that being said, let's jump into the video, eh? And so I figured I'd just go through the show in a vaguely chronological order and give as many examples of how she fails at her job on a regular basis. And so we can see in the very first chronological episode, the Origins episode, her very first day with her new class, and she's already making some pretty severe mistakes. So the whole drama comes from Ivan and his interactions with Kim. At a certain point during the class, Ivan absolutely loses his mind. And honestly, he looks like he's about to attack Kim. And how does she respond? Well, she immediately sends Ivan away to be punished by the principal. Punished! She doesn't send him out of the class to talk to him later. She doesn't follow up. She doesn't try to figure out what's going on. She doesn't pursue anything. She just seems to straight up assume that since Ivan's acting angry and aggressive, he must have been in the wrong. Even though later we learn that Kim was straight up bullying him here. <sighs> and so it begins. In Lady Wi-Fi, there's a scene where Marinette comes to class late, and understandably, she's upset and confused at hearing her friend, her best friend, has been suspended. And what does Miss Bustier do? Does she talk to Marinette? Does she use her critical thinking and realise that Marinette's probably a bit shocked, so she deserves a little bit of leeway just for the moment? Nope! She scolds her for being late, and then yells at her for being a distraction, sending her to the principal's office straight away. Woo! Surely that guy has better things to do than deal with this shit. In Dark Cupid, when she thinks Adrian isn't listening, she calls him out in front of the entire class to repeat what she said. Which to me, this seems like an attempt to publicly shame him if he was wrong about it. Because, you know, shame's such a good thing to make teenagers feel in front of their peers and their friends, especially when this is their first year at school after a lifetime of homeschool. Whoo! In Reflector, Julika gets left out of the class photo, and Mr. Damocles refuses to take the photo again after some manipulation by Chloe. Miss Bustier conveniently says Jack shit about this. She doesn't stand up for her student, and she stays silent, despite the fact that she knew that Julika was in the bathroom. She gives her permission to go. And that's just season one. And this is already starting to hint to me, maybe she should consider a career change. But perhaps she's going to improve as we go along. Or perhaps not. In Zombie Zoo, the class all give Miss Bustier presents for her birthday. Mm, that's cute. Not deserved, but cute. But you know what's less cute? The fact that Chloe vandalizes Marinette's gift. The entire class is upset about this. This would have cost Marinette money to put together. And Chloe's just drawn all over it. And how does our esteemed teacher respond to this? Oh, she laughs it off. She tells them it's now a joint gift from Chloe and Marinette that will forever make her think of both of them. And then she asks to speak to Marinette outside, telling her to forgive Chloe. I mean, is she secretly getting paid by Mr. Bourgeois? Being told to go along with it so Chloe gets no consequences and no punishment? <laughs> Lovely. So yeah, either she's just a suck-up and a sycophant, or she's literally a complete and utter buffoon. And I'm honestly leaning towards her being a buffoon, because in Catalyst, she somehow fully believes Lila's lies that she's in the kingdom of Achu, working with Prince whatever his name was. Like, this dude was a high-profile celeb followed by the paps. He'd be in the tabloids. Are you telling me she hasn't even done a quick Google search just to check the goss? I know I would if I was told one of my students was dating a prince, or hanging out with a prince, or whatever it was. I don't think I'd be able to resist. I mean, this is the easiest thing in the world to verify as false. And not only does she believe her, but she thanks her on behalf of the world, and then she belittles the class, kind of, telling them, Oh yeah. I know that Lila's a lot to live up to, but try your best. <laughs> in Chameleon, she proves herself even more stupid, when after being told Lila has tinnitus, just straight up believes her, which, you know, fair enough. But then, when Lila suddenly tells her, Oh, look, I'm cured, ha ha ha! Like, what? Yeah, believing the claim at first is fair enough. You shouldn't shame people's medical issues. 
But surely being told that it was suddenly gone would have your alarm bells going. Be a bit troubling. After all, Marinette in this class had already accused Lila of lying about it, and then suddenly it's gone. There's not even an inkling of suspicion? I mean, come on now. Then, in Ladybug, Miss Bustier has given an anonymous tip that Marinette stole the test answers, and thus, in front of the whole class, the whole class, she checks her bag and shames her in front of everybody. I mean, just ask her to stay behind after class and then check the bag. But then, when the whole class actually vouches for Marinette, she just washes her hands of all of this and sends them to the principal. Like, And I mean, yeah, this does feel like a principal-level issue. She stole the test answers. But still, I feel like she dealt with it terribly in the first place. And so, yeah, that's gotten us through the first three seasons. But wait, there's more. Season four. It actually has a really good moment for Miss Bustier. She stands up to support her students who are leading a protest against the mayor who wants to demolish a public park and build a skyscraper that's going to convert air into tinned air and then sell it. So yeah, there's that. But in my eyes, it does not cancel out all the other shit she does where she's proved herself utterly inept. In Wishmaker, there's a minor moment where she fails to properly reprimand Chloe when she starts making fun of Marinette for having less money than her, even though surely Marinette's family are actually decently well off, right? I mean, the baker is literally visited by everybody of note in the show, including celebrities. If this was a real place, it would be the top of every Paris's hidden gems, with lines wrapping around the block. But regardless, I'm getting off topic. The reality is, she doesn't do shit to stop Chloe bad-mouthing her student. Almost ever. I mean, she just lets her bully anyone, anytime. Fair's fair though, she does get a little bit of redemption in penalty, as she does stop Chloe from doing whatever she wants and just ditching the class. But then on the other hand, that's cancelled out by the fact that she doesn't stop the rest of the class bullying Chloe by suggesting that she has to switch sides every time one of the team scores because she's so bad that she's a liability. Which, you know, that kind of feels a little problematic for a teacher, doesn't it? Surely it's her job in this moment to try to shut down this sort of bullshit. I mean, Chloe's a bully, yeah. A terrible bully. But she shouldn't be bullied back. Miss Bustier, you are indeed a clown. And so this brings us to season five, or at least the episodes that have been released so far. And I think the really key one has got to be Revelation. This one is just a head scratcher. First of all, she notices something a little bit suspicious about Chloe's assignment. Finally, doing your job, huh? And eventually it comes out that Chloe doesn't do her own work. Sabrina does, and she has done for years. <sighs> Which is, okay. So Miss Bustier took all year to notice this. And even worse, She's actually taught them both before. You can see a previous class picture of this class in Reflector, so she just never picked up on the fact that Chloe completely and utterly uses this girl. Really? Other questionable decisions from this esteemed teacher in this episode include allowing Marinette to just go off on Chloe about how she's a waste of time and space. I mean, it's true, but still, take charge, teach. Don't just let her rant. Furthermore, she actually does zero to punish or reprimand Chloe even after Chloe shows no guilt and laughs about how her daddy is always going to save the day. She literally tells us that Chloe's true punishment is falling behind. Like, what are you talking about? And then she lets Lila have a chance at being elected class rep, even though Marinette's done a good job and it's almost the end of the year. I mean, Marinette has earned this spot, surely. It's not her fault Lila wasn't there. <sighs> Miss Bustier, you are a poser and a hack and a truly bad teacher. The end, goodbye. And so yeah, that's my evidence. Do with it what you will. But of course, I'll just remind you that these have been my opinions, and now I'd like to hear yours. What did you think of Miss Bustier? Am I being unfair on her abilities? Or do you agree that she needs to seek a new profession? I'm curious for your thoughts, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know.